y'all. Guess who's here with us? Jules, what I've been talking about for so long. Ah! <laughs> hey guys. My book of fear. <laughs> Y'all just don't understand. I'm in the building. <laughs> like I've been saying, Jay, to the seat <laughs> Guys, uh, we got Jewel here, yes. and Angie's back with us. Hey, hey, hey! And today we're gonna be eating on some good old roosters. If y'all don't know what it is, oh, it's a chicken. <laughs> 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 but no, roosters is a chicken place here at where we stay. <laughs> Donkey wings would just smell like donkey. <laughs> <laughs> you were so stupid. And uh, for my drink, I got some Lipton tea. Same. Jewel got some water. We got some Wawa. And um, yeah. and we got some ranch. Yep, and we got some ranch for the side. So yeah, yes. let's go ahead. Oh, I've been eating when I say water. Lord, we thank you for this food we're about to receive. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So we're supposed to be the um, Sharon, oh, I'm you sorry. get yours and I get mine. I don't know about this. I mean, I'll try. I'll try one. But okay, then I'll just get two of these. And you get two of those. No, you can have as many of those as you want. You can too. But I know you're probably gonna eat your horse wings. <laughs> have you ever, if y'all know about roosters, have you ever had these donkey wings? Do y'all like them? I love them. Angie likes them. Angie likes hot stuff, even though she didn't last in the noodle challenge. <laughs> That's okay. That was, <laughs> that was terrible. You have to try it. You do once yeah, you're not breastfeeding really. anymore. Cause I was dead. Yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I went through the whole. Yes, I was about to. That's why I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, I'll try one. Yes, my sisters. I'm about to try it. Oof. Yes, you guys. I'm digging in. I'm hungry. I'm just waiting. Ooh. Ooh. That's not me. It's a seat. <laughs> <laughs> is it hot? Yeah, it is hot. It's it hot. is What? But it's good though. Mm -hmm. It's not hot to me. Yeah. It's hot. <laughs> you can definitely take these. My throat's falling off. <laughs> but you don't need a lot of that. Mm. Yeah, it is hot. Mm -mm. Ooh. I always get chicken wings stuck in my teeth. Mm. It's really good though. The flavor. I can't do this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Too hot. That's hot. <laughs> I'm the grandma at the table. <laughs> well, Jules, like I said, she's breastfeeding, so. Yeah. Speaking of breastfeeding, that's going to be our topic today. <laughs> Pregnancy, nippleacia, <laughs> symptoms that you have during pregnancy. Because being pregnant is no joke. I know really? people go through different things, but yeah, we'll talk about that mm. in a little bit. Right now, we're about to smash. I can't get the hotness out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Help. <laughs> Hair is so annoying. It's a good combination though with this sweet, and then you take that. Really? Mm -hmm. It's hot, hot. I, mm. I literally can't shake it. <laughs> it's like my nose run. I feel like Kelsey, <laughs> the liquid nose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But how's your day going? Yes. Yeah. It is almost the weekend, you guys. Turn it up. What happened to my chicken? Oh. <laughs> and I can't wait for the weekend. Mm. I can't either. I'm going to try to hang it up. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. These barbecue wings are fun. Mm 
Oh, well, you got ranch, so it probably takes away that hotness. Mm -hmm. Want some ranch? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a okay. Mmm. <laughs> Roosters used to be my favorite chicken place, but B dubs took over. B dubs took over for sure. Oh, I don't like B dubs. Hmm? What have you tried at B dubs? They're hot wings. Okay, well you gotta try their other stuff. Like what? Their um they got their sweet they got barbecue. Hot, yeah, they got good hot barbecue. Mm. Mm, honey As barbecue. Using. They got a um Chipotle barbecue that's really good. Mm. They're just so expensive. We gotta get them on Tuesdays. Yeah, or Thursdays. Is it? Mm -hmm. Tuesdays or Thursdays when they're about mm -hmm. half off. Mm -hmm. Are their wings are they're like, boneless? Just their tongueless? <laughs> yeah. My nose is really running. From the chicken? Yes. Like, what the heck? Yeah, hey, you really wouldn't be able to do. The hot wings? Mm. Yeah, uh, you know, you can have some fries. I'll probably start to run up. You do that or pass out. You'll probably just take one bite and be like, nope. I can just see you now. <laughs> can you see her just saying, nope? Mm hmm. And I'm thinking about Angie when she was eating so cute. <laughs> Shut up. She was like, I'm going to eat my noodles. And, and she was like, huh? And she was like, <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> well, she didn't do that screen, but. Still. It was more like <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, it was so hot. But it's not compared to these wings. These wings aren't that hot. Then hot? that tells me if you can eat that, you can eat these and uh, I can do it. Yeah. I mean I would at least try, but I don't think it's, it's more hot because they're in the wings. They're in the wings, it's a little more crunchy. It's so like squishy. But yeah, we wanted to talk about pregnancy, symptoms that we've had, or what Jewel went through. She so, got yeah. through kids. Mm -hmm. Yes. Go ahead, tell your story. Tip has got Or including my husband. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> yeah, um, let's see, my baby, his name is Ken. Um, he's eight weeks as of yesterday. Aww. Um, yeah, this, this pregnancy was by far the worst. Uh, let me see my middle child. His name is Jace. Um, I almost had him in the car. I'm thinking I'm just having like really bad Braxton Hicks, but I was really um, 10 centimeters completely. That's so crazy. I was a full fledged Satan when I got to the hospital. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I was absolutely evil. I had a nurse. She was a sweetheart, but um, she thought it was cool to tell jokes while I was contracting. So I had to tell her to like, shut up. <laughs> I actually did tell her to shut up and um, told her that she wasn't funny. 
I was just, I was going through. I've never felt pain like that. It literally took my breath away. But I think then, we all, that's understandable. Because when yeah. you're going, anybody that's been pregnant and going through contractions, like, it was, that's something serious. <laughs> like, don't bother me. Don't, don't try to yes, laugh. It, just, it cannot soothe me. I'm going through hell right now. <laughs> you like, comfort me. Don't try to tell me knock-knock jokes and stuff. I ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> And on top of that, the doctor uh, that was coming to give me my epidural, well, initially I almost didn't get it um, because they told me I was 10 centimeters, but my water didn't break. So that was the only reason um, they let me get it. And I remember the doctor coming in, she's like, I just want to tell you, I was actually with another patient, but um, they heard about you and that you uh, your water didn't break. So they told me to just come over and give you that epidural. I'm like, what do you mean tell them? Thank you. I was, I was Satan. I was like feeling really demon-like. <laughs> like, just give me my freaking needle. I need the drugs. <laughs> give me the drugs. Like, for real. But after after they gave me the medicine, I had, like, crackhead shakes. But <laughs> I didn't feel no pain. Girl, not for real. Because that oh. girl made me shake. It made me itchy. I feel like a crackhead for real. I was like, what's going on? No, there's a crackhead. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but no, you know how they scratch. Wait. And then afterwards, I was peeling like I was peeling like a snake. Like my ears were peeling. <laughs> it was like layers of skin. <laughs> Baby girl was shot in. Peeling like an onion. <laughs> You're so silly, y'all. No, but seriously, it was it was a horrible experience. I promised myself that I would never go through that again. But then I had um, found out I was pregnant with my uh, my third child. Um, he came at a very surprising time for me. I think he actually um, saved my life because I was in a really low, low, low place. Um, but it's okay. I'm, I'm happier than I've ever been. Um, but the pregnancy was horrible. Um, I feel like I kind of got robbed of the experience um, because I was going through so much um, and I had, I was told I was diagnosed, but I can't even, I'm trying to think of what it's called. Um, please forgive me if I say it wrong, hyper, hyperemesis, something like that, um, where you're sick a lot of the time. I actually lost weight while I was pregnant. I was on the total opposite of what I was supposed to do, so I was... Um, on bed rest pretty much the entire time of my pregnancy um, but he's here and uh and he's cute the great thing is is i never sleep <laughs> i'm in zombie mode right now <laughs> but it's okay my baby's here and he's healthy he came three weeks early from uh, me having that so he's so adorable and so chunky and it's he so cute. eats all the time yeah literally yeah he's a little chunky guy like when he was born he was only about five pounds he just may wait to be able to excuse me leave the hospital on time and he didn't feel like five pounds he felt like he was seven but he was five pounds in the beginning he was a but big boy now he feel like he's 20 pounds yeah listen. a good strong 30 <laughs> but he's, he's super chunky and juicy and stuff and i just love him life but i love all my babies um i have a seven-year-old a five-year-old and then my my two-month-old so and they're all so handsome, all boys. Mm -hmm. All boys. I don't think God wants me to have a girl. For one, I can't do hair. <laughs> <laughs> so they gonna look like Cynthia from Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. So it's best that I don't have a, a girl. But if so, I, I would be extremely excited because I'm outnumbered right now. So. But now pregnancy <clears throat> can be joyous. Yeah. It's just. I don't know, no, like, I'm not trying to knock men in general, but it's hard to get support that you need because of the fact, for one, they probably don't really understand what you're going through. But I, I need you guys to realize that we are literally forming a whole human being in our body. So we're going to be tired, we're going to be cranky, all that. Um, Ain't that the truth. So understand, um, before you get a bag of rocks knocked on your head, <laughs> or your head. Simple as that. <laughs> But yeah, it's it can be it can, it really can be rough. Um, it can. We just need the support. Support. If we it got support two. from the fathers of the children, like while we're going through, that would make a huge difference. Like, it would. It would definitely help with postpartum. Absolutely. It would help with anything that has to do with stress. Yeah. 
just the little things matter. Yeah, seriously. Even if it's putting their shoes on or putting changing their diapers here and there, it's making the their things. bottles. It is the little thing. Been <laughs> bloody. Sisters, have you ever talked about your pregnancies? Uh uh. I'm mine. Kobe and Nori. Um, they were both born early. Kobe was born um at seven months. So she was born one pound and 14 ounces. So of course she had to stay in the NICU for almost two months. Mm. And I was literally there every single day. Every day. Every single day. I didn't I miss that. a day to go see her because that's her baby girl. What? That's just my, that, I was just like, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> But no, and uh, my son, he was born at eight months. So he was in there. Was Nori in there a month? I don't think he was in there a whole month. I don't no, know. I don't think he was. But he still had to be in there too. But um, I think he weighed three pounds and some ounces, almost four pounds. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you talking about my baby? No, I was about to say, like, I think he weighed 22 ounces. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my gosh, you are so silly. But no, yeah. He had to be in there. And I see him. I think I missed like two days where I didn't get to go up there and see him, but I called like five times. <laughs> <laughs> I did. But still. Oh yeah. But for those of you who do have preemie babies, I understand. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got six. Shut up. I got five nephews and one niece. <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot. Literally. Kobe, but I love them all. Kobe is the only girl. She sure is. Five nephews. She got a lot of um guys, a boys to look after her. her. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I just realized that. Just like that. But it's opposite. Cameron, yeah. We have a brother. He's the only boy. Five girls and one boy. Wow, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. I didn't even think about that. I think about it all the time because I ain't gonna feel it. I think I dropped it on me. So enjoy not having kids right now. Right. Sure. I am. Those once they come. do not have kids right now, just like they said, enjoy it. Don't rush nothing. Don't. Not uh, right. Enjoy your freedom. Because I do not, I definitely do not regret my kids. Everything happens for oh, a reason, yeah. but Absolutely. when you have freedom and stuff, like take advantage of that. Because there's some parents that have kids and don't even get no help. Can't even have you time because you can't find somebody that you trust to babysit your kids. That's true. That's true. We live in a really crazy world. Sucky time where like evil is at an all time high. And some parents, they got to do what they got to do with taking your kids to daycares and stuff. But yeah, I, I just I can't. There's so many sick people. I don't understand the, the thought process of like certain people, this craziness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and hatred. I don't understand that either. <clears throat> just love. Love, like Jesus was. <laughs> right. I ate most of this chicken, but I couldn't really eat a lot of the skin. But I, I didn't eat that much because I feel like I got the sweat. I got like four, <laughs> I got four pieces left. You better kill it. <laughs> oh my God. I told you I love it. That's why she's been a mute. <laughs> she couldn't take those noodles, but these really are, these donkey wings. If y'all do have a rooster where y'all are, try them. They have a good buffalo taste, but it's like different. Like yeah, the flavor's amazing. My friend put me on. They know, shout out to you. <laughs> what do you mean when you say you were sick? Like, did you vomit? Did you oh, eat? <clears throat> I vomited all the time. I didn't even have to eat anything to trigger it. It just, just came. Just like every single day. Every single day, at least seven to eight times a day. And really? there was a, yeah, it was, wow. it was horrible. And there was a couple times I like projectile. I remember throwing up, like trying to get to the bathroom, but instead of it hitting the toilet, it went right on the wall. It was. Oh my gosh. And like being pregnant really can change your mood swings. Cause my sister was mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were 
mean. I was mean. I she so, could tolerate. She could only. She could tolerate. She could tolerate an aunt. <laughs> I had real. I mean, come on, think about it. I went through that the entire. And I pregnancy. understand that's how I was. I understand it because she. If you threw. If you throw up every single day. We and you got two kids. That's so true. Huh? We barely, barely saw her I barely for nine seen, Yeah. She That's was at so, home. I, I was doing that to protect people because of how how mean I was. The only person that had no choice but to deal with me was my husband and my children because they, you know, live here. But other than, other than that, I could, from her. it was rough. I'm sorry. I'm but so the baby different came, now. Not but, happy. Yeah, the baby came. And now we're all together. Yes. I know. Um, oh, fuck. oh my god but that's crazy with pregnancy and everything yes and I'm considering my third one being uh, my last <gasps> okay who's gonna have the next but kid? I don't know I'm, I'm still deciding because you know pain, the pain was temporary like I was really scared about delivery um, mm -hmm. just because of how much I went through so I don't know if I can finish that one and I, 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 tell them when she was dilated what did, they, what did they break your water? They had to break my water uh -huh. because I, I went so far out and I was completely dilated, but my water didn't break again. This is, that was the second time that happened. So, um, it broke my water and then I could just feel like the pressure of him trying to escape. He was ready. It, he was and ready. And how long did it take for him to come out? She Girl! Was, she was worried. She was like, literally, she was I was scared. scared to death. Which I would be scared too if I was going through that the whole pregnancy and then you just never know. Yeah. And he was so low in her pregnancy. He stayed low. Yeah. Very, very low. So it scared her so mean? bad. But y'all, how, like how many pushes? How many pushes did you have? To it push? was three. Three, three pushes, pushes and he popped he out. out. <laughs> the doctor told me to stop pushing. That's how fast he came out. I was so grateful because, uh, yeah, I was I was terrified, and I, I kept asking God for peace. And I remember um, when my husband went out of the room to go get my mom and uh, Tempest, I just started praying, and I felt this overwhelming peace feeling, and it just it brought me to tears. So I was glad. Aww. I felt I felt good. I was like, God is with me. But yes, you guys, um, we are all finished. I hope you enjoyed this topic. And now that she's here, you're going to see her all the time. She all is the, the J, time. like I said, to the C to the T. And then you're going to see all of us. It's family, yo. Ew. Millie rocking. Bam. I finished all my Bam. jam. Yay. I sure did. Yay. I'm over here like <laughs> in my own world. <laughs> you stopped Millie and with me. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm, this is actually good. No. <laughs> oh. Bam. Yeah. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> we did. will see y'all next time. Bye, you guys. God is good.